For this equation, we have a double displacement reaction. The potassium and the iron, they're switching places. We also have a lot of polyatomic ions. So we're going to use a little trick to balance this equation and make it a lot easier. And you can use this on any double displacement reaction. So let's count the atoms up. We have two potassium atoms. And then the carbonate, I have a carbonate here and I have carbonates over here. So I'm going to count that as one thing. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together in the chemical reaction. So we have one carbonate here, one iron, and again, the nitrate ion here, and then we have it here. So we're going to count it as one thing. I have one nitrate times three. And you can see these numbers are a lot neater when we count it that way. On the product side, one potassium, one times three, three carbonates, two irons, and then just the one nitrate. Because I've done it this way, it's a lot clearer what I need to do to balance the equation. It looks like I could start by putting a 2 in front of the potassium nitrate. 1 times 2, that would balance the potassium atoms. And then the 1 nitrate times the 2, that would give me 2 nitrates. How about we do the carbonates now? We have 3 and 1. Let's put a 3 in front of the potassium carbonate. So that does change our potassiums. 2 times 3 gives us 6 of those, but 1 carbonate times 3. Now we have three of those. Those are balanced. That's okay though. We could go and balance the irons next. If we put a two in front of the iron three nitrate, we have one times two. That equals two of those. And then we need to multiply the nitrates by two. We have one nitrate times three. Three nitrates times two. Six nitrates. We're getting close though, because now we could fix the nitrates here we need to have 6, so we could change this 2 to a 6. That would change our potassiums as well. So 1 times 6, that gives us 6 of the potassiums. 1 nitrate times 6, 6 of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility here when we have these polyatomic ions, like the carbonate, that stay together. If we count them as one thing, the balancing is much easier. Either way, you get the same answer. This is just quicker and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K2CO3 plus FeNO33, potassium carbonate plus iron 3 nitrate. Thanks for watching.